All right, everyone, how you doing? We're back, another episode. Now, at the end of the last episode, you saw our complete kitchen makeover. It looked amazing. And you might have noticed the beautiful new sink in place. Well, we're gonna show you how we did that sink and how we made it look so beautiful step by step. So we're gonna show you everything and the kitchen sink. Here's what you'll need for this sink installation. You'll need two sink baskets, one for a garbage disposal, plumber's putty, Teflon tape, a hammer, a screwdriver, some pliers, and of course, the kitchen sink. First thing you do, take your plumber's putty and start rolling it into a nice, long, even tube. Then, place it around both of your sink baskets. Now, this provides a nice, tight, waterproof seal. Now take that sink basket, put it into the sink, followed by your cardboard washer, and then your garbage disposal mounting brackets. Then add your split ring to keep the assembly together. Now don't tighten it all the way. You're going to want to check under the sink to make sure that the sink basket is perfectly centered in the sink. Then go ahead and tighten all of it down. Now once it's good and tight, flip the sink over and remove all of the excess plumber's putty. So basically do the same thing on the other side. Add your sink basket, then a rubber and a cardboard washer, and then you're going to want to tighten it with your lock nut. Now remember to make sure that the sink basket is centered in the sink, and then remove all of the excess plumber's putty, just like you did last time. Next, we're going to roll out more plumber's putty. We're going to place it around the entire perimeter of where the sink will go. Now, you can also use silicone in your caulking gun if you prefer, but we already had plumber's putty, so why spend the extra money? Now, gently place your kitchen sink into the opening, and once it's set, just remove the excess plumber's putty like you did before. Use these mounting clips to secure the sink to the countertop. Now, if you're installing a brand new sink, these clips will come with the new sink. Now that the sink is secure, it's time to put in the faucet. Then, connect the hoses to the hot and cold water source. Now, make sure you get it on really good and tight. You don't want any leaks down there. Now, important step. Before you connect the hose to the faucet, you're going to want to turn on the water and flush out the hoses to make sure there's no debris that could clog the faucet. Then, reach all the way up in the back and connect the hoses to the faucet. Next, it's time to reconnect your plumbing. Take your Teflon tape and run it around the thread of your sink basket and then connect the pipe, making sure it's extra tight. Now it's time to put together all the rest of the plumbing. Now here's a tip. If you're not good with pipes and plumbing like me, take a picture of the pipes before you disconnect them. That will give you a guide when you put them back together because your pipes under your sink may not look exactly like mine. Then on the other side of the sink, it's time to put in the garbage disposal. Then connect the disposer to the pipes, making sure it's really good and tight, and then the hose from the dishwasher. Now once you have all of the pipes in place and really secure, it's time to turn on the water. Now let's test the water. Turn on the faucet and let it run for a while, then look under the sink and check for any leaks. Now, this last step, it's optional. Now, I like to use clear caulk and go around the entire perimeter of the sink. Now, you know me, caulk is my best friend, so I'll look for any excuse to use it. And of course, it gives it that nice, finished look. Well, guess what? We're done, we did it. The kitchen sink is in, it is amazing, it looks fantastic. Now, you can do this. I have no professional experience in plumbing. All it takes is common sense. Just follow the steps, use your brain, you can do it. Let's take a look at the final product.